Good morning, everybody. It's Rain, and today we're going to jump right in to a new dye method. We are going to be sprinkling some acid dyes and see how it turns out. Let's get started. All right, y'all. I've got two braids of super fine merino wool in here. This has been soaked in acid, and I also have my Dharma acid dyes and also Jacquard acid dyes. I'm going to let you know the colors in a second. And we are going to sprinkle it on here and let the colors mix and run and have some fun and see what happens. I'm wearing my respirator, this kind. I will link it in the description. Our first color is Valentine Blush by Dharma. This is what the powder looks like. I'm gonna be wearing gloves when I sprinkle it as the acid itself can be a skin irritant and you also don't want to inhale this. I have a fan going right above this that's sucking it out. Any of the dust that could accumulate in the air and as I said before I'm wearing my respirator and don't have kids or animals around if you can help it. And I just wanted to clarify, when I said that this was soaked in acid, I meant that it was soaked in citric acid and water. I filled the water up to cover the wool, and I just add probably about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of acid, of the citric acid powder into the water, mix it around, and I'll soak my wool in that for at least 20 minutes before I start speckling my acid dyes on top, like you see here. And here is our next color. This is what it looks like. It is called Olive Brown and it is also by Dharma. All I'm doing here is taking a little pinch of the powder between my uh, thumb and pointer finger and I'm just kind of pinching it and rubbing it together between my fingers and letting little speckles fall out. Just like you would with any ordinary um, like seasoning or speckling, anything like that. That's all you're doing here. So I literally had no idea what colors to choose. I just wanted to choose like some colors that coordinate well together, which I usually try to choose a light color, a medium color, and a darker color. And usually it turns out pretty well as long as the colors uh, coordinate and match pretty well. Like your basic color wheel theory type of stuff. This was more of an experiment than anything else, but mainly because I've never seen anyone try this before. I have seen it done on yarn a lot, but I've never seen it done on wool roving or comb top like I have here. So that's why I wanted to try to see how it would work, especially with acid soaked wool. So I pretty much wanted to see how much the colors would shift and run and if the acid would hold those speckles into place, which, which I honestly thought that when I went to flip this over, all the dye would just leak out of the braid and it would just become a muddy mess. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. We will be doing some more experiments in the future with speckling on comb top to see if we can get some sharp speckles. Wouldn't that be cool? Anyway, this color that I'm using now is purple from Jacquard, I'm pretty sure. And this one was absolutely stunning. I'm definitely going to be doing another set of braids with just the purple. Just because that purple by Jacquard is so beautiful on its own. And I know it'll make a gorgeous braid by itself. Alright, I'm going to let y'all hear the original audio of my reaction to this. Whoa! Am I recording? That was crazy. Y'all watch this. That was beautiful. Let me, let me just show you that again. Watch closely. Whoa! Oh my god, that's trippy. So I zoomed in again here so you could see more of what I was actually seeing. And yes, I know, I ruined the speckles, but you gotta understand with the comb top, those speckles are not penetrating through to the other side, and 
even putting citric acid on top I wasn't looking for it to get sharp speckles or I would have mixed my citric acid and my powders together so I went ahead and moved it around a little bit and sprinkled a little more brown and a little more pink because they were lacking in comparison to that dark purple over there and then to go ahead and get it to set I took my citric acid powder and just kind of sprinkled a little bit over the top I've done this with a lot of my comb tops and I've never found it uh, hurts anything it just helps to add a little more acid and to get it to um, really really set a lot better with all the braids that I've dyed, I have found that adding more acid is better than not enough. Because the dye likes to seep out and not properly set if you don't have enough acid in your braid. And I already had my heat on at this point, so I went ahead and flipped it over. I forgot to tell you, I let it sit for about 5 minutes before I flipped it over on the heat, on about medium high. And as you can see, I flipped my pan around because uh, on this stove, I only have one big eye and that eye gets a lot hotter, a lot faster than the smaller one in the back. So I have rotated my pan to keep it from getting uh, any really hot spots or anything like that. I went ahead and speckled my Valentine blush, olive brown and purple across the braid, just like I did on the opposite side. And I know it looks like I'm speckling without gloves here, but I actually just have the little tub of jacquard dye in my hand sprinkling out of that. And then I went ahead and sprinkled across the top of the braid with citric acid once again. I'm probably only using about a teaspoon, about two teaspoons here on top when I do this. And here is what it looks like after all of the dye and it's sitting there heating up. I love that purple definitely going to use it on its own and here is what it looks like after it was completely set and it was cooling off so i left it on about medium heat for around 20 minutes and you just want to make sure most of the dye in the dye bath is gone clear and then i rinsed it and washed it with clear dish soap absolutely do not touch this until after it is completely cooled and cold to the touch or you will felt it so here we go you ready to see here is our finished braid. I'm really happy with how this turned out actually. If you would like this exact braid or both of them, go to my Etsy shop. It's linked in the description down below. And feel free to follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Favorite my shop on Etsy for all my future updates. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Whoa. Whoa. Beautiful. I like I like what we're getting here. I think we need some more brown. Let's do this. <laughs>